So um, I'm gonna continue to do this clay. I've been them exposed right here. It's a little dry already. So I'm I'm looking at the side profile. You know what I'm looking for. Um, if you look at the um, some of these book, the I hopefully I show some of these uh, handout that on your canvas you will see it. So we we look at the back of a skull right in here. You can see the uh, this is the frontal. This is a uh, um, forehead right in here. So we want to come and look for the shape like this. Okay. So of course everybody's um, uh, head shapes are a little different. So therefore you want to look at the picture that you took. And so you can hear if you kind of draw the straight line right here and you're coming back. So you can see that's pretty much the skull that my skull look like because I'm going to skull myself. And what does your look like, right? So you can kind of um, um, kind of start with the basic reference right here. So the one I'm looking right now in, in a way that I'm going to try to sculpt this. So it looks like um, uh, I probably would need to add a little bit more right on the back right in here. And then maybe a little bit, that's not too bad, and maybe uh, add a little more chin right in here. So looking at your reference photo are really important, okay? Uh, one more thing that you should actually cannot see it from the video is um, um, I always try to sculpt uh, the sculpture that uh, I level. I don't want to look down to the pot. I don't want to look down to the um, my sculpture. I don't want to look up. I don't want to look straight forward. So basically, what I'm sitting right now, my eye is focused on the eye. So we are, we are eye to eye right in here. So that's the best way to sculpting it. Okay, so now again, I'm looking at my uh, reference photo right in here. So I probably want to add just a little bit of the, maybe the back and then maybe a little bit of the chin. Okay, so again, I'm going to add a little back right here. And I will probably bring a little bit more the forehead forward. So on the side right here. So roughly, I'm still trying to establish my head, the shape, okay. before I even start to do the detail because 
if you uh, not establish your uh, right proportions and you're gonna have a little um, trouble in the future once you establish so I'm gonna come back and I'll run these off kind of smooth it up just a little bit So again, I'm going to look at my um, the uh, proportions. It looks like this one right here. Maybe I should add a little bit of more my jar right here. So I'm going to add that right here. Because it looks a little too taper in. And then look at this face right here. It's actually kind of straight down just a little bit more. And that's the, the, um, the taper of the jar wasn't that. So I'm going to add just a little bit. Maybe the shoulder is kind of off a little bit, so I'm going to add this maybe right there. Look at the side profile that looks a little back of the skull right in here that's not bad i'm gonna look at the um my photo as well as some of the reference um handout that i put on the canvas so you can see the edges is slightly coming down so for this light right here okay so it looks looks okay looks okay but you know what it's a it's a ticket so addictive um, um, project. So I mean the uh, sculpture. So that means we I always can add them all in, right? But so far it looks okay. And I want to establish just a little bit of the back right here. Maybe I'll add one more piece of clay just to show the back of my right here. So there you go. Okay. Right now, it looks a little better. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to go back. We're going to really fix these edges right in here before we start the eye and nose. Now, I want to establish this first. Okay. Looks a little better. That's not much better. Back of the skull, the neck, my shoulder. Perfect. This is my forehead. Okay, so I'm on the side profile. I'm gonna add some nose and eyes in there. There's my cheek, chin, and then I'll cut, cut the head in just a little bit more. Okay, and then maybe I can smooth out here. Maybe I would take the little knife, kind of clean the edges right in here just a little bit. So kind of detach from the bottom. Don't look like, you know, when they dry, they can dry away from the bore. And not like ripping your pieces, ripping your clay off. Okay. So again, I'm going to smooth this out a little bit. Looks not too shabby. Right in here. So 
Well, we can, again, we can always go back to look at it, but I'm looking at it right now, it seems okay. It looks okay. So, the well, next step is we're going to take this clay, and this is the head, I am here, okay? So if we go back to our our uh, reference photo right in here, looks like a little thick right here. If I can cut it in just a little bit. Okay, so this is the side jar. We can add it up right there. Okay, so now if you look at the um, my photo, so you can see on the eyebrow, the eye level with the nose right here. That's probably we're gonna um, it, once you have a reference photo, try to draw the line so uh, you can find the locations and then relationship between eyes, nose, ears, and mouth, okay? So in here, I drew a line right here on the top, which is the tip of my ear, and go all the way across. The bottom of an earlobe is almost like the bottom of my nose, so I draw a straight shot right here. Of course, because I take a picture straight on. If you take a picture, a little in a weird angle, not straight on, and you're probably not gonna get this, but at least you get something to see. But uh, it's a better suggestion is if you can take your photo straight on, front face straight on. So once I define my ears and then my eyes, so you can see I drew one line, one part, two part, and three part. On the top of the forehead, doesn't count the hair, so we'll break it into a three sections. Again, one, two, three. And then the tip right here is a little bit of a skull right here. It's gonna be the hair. And then where did I find this line? It's the tip of my ear and the bottom of my earlobe. So now I'm gonna take this um, clay right in here. Um, be sure to close your clay because again, it's an air dry clay. You tend to dry out really quickly. Um, actually, since this is gonna dry out quickly, I'm gonna save some of my clay by um, I'm gonna cut in the angle just a little bit so maybe I can say some of these clay instead of them dry out because this is okay so now I'm gonna um, look at the relationship of my because this is the this is my jaw the edge of the jar right here to the end gonna be connecting with my earlobe right in here so what I would do is I'm gonna divide this into a three sections okay roughly three sections so here one two so I say one, two, three, almost on that right here. And then that will be the, the top part will be the hair, okay? So again, one, maybe a little higher. One, two, three, perfect. So something like that, yes? So we draw this, this two line right here. Once you drew this two line that you know, we're gonna, run the straight down right here because our face is symmetrical so that means if you have eye right here you have eye right here so it's the same same situation so whatever you do on this side you need to make sure you do it on this side and then of course for the the um the uh, for the drawing that we have uh, for the reference photo that we have we know on the top of this line is your ear and the bottom of your line will be your earlobe so that means right here joint it's gonna be my uh, um, my jaw bone right in here so it looks a little thin but that's okay we're gonna add that right there so this relationship is really need to um, define it first one two three okay so we're gonna do it like that and then um, once we have that um, clear distinctions of where the location is then we will begin to um, start sculpting and first we're gonna um, create some um, eye socket we're gonna create some eye socket right now so uh, when you want to do the eye socket we want to um, gently gently massage uh, your clay okay so when you're doing the uh, uh, sculpting your clay um, I always suggest I always suggest 
do um let's see, hold it closer so you can see it in this angle right here so right there okay so here it's gonna be the eye socket so what I do is right here I'm gonna gently on the bottom of the eyebrow because um right here so I'm gonna push it down right here and the top gonna be my brow bone so I'm gonna gently like this I'm gonna push it in and I'm gonna gently and then move up and down up and down massage a little bit okay so massage them a little bit so that will be the eye socket that we have okay because right now we we are making a um um the eye socket bone right here so right now is this is you can see it right here so we're gonna push it in just a little bit now we're gonna start adding some uh zygomatic bone we're gonna add some uh define some temple the frontal and then uh and some jar and everything else okay so now we did one of these right here okay so the next things what i want to do again this is eye socket we're gonna we're gonna drop the eyeballs in here we're gonna add a little bit of brow we're gonna add a little bit of um of the ear so i always suggest it when you started um try to move around your hand and just don't don't try to like try to sculpt your nose perfect before you move on to everything so i always suggest you know do a little bit eye do a little bit nose put it in the lips you can put it in the ear come back to the eyes and and then constantly moving around okay so here's a, again eye socket which you're gonna massage it and next thing is what we're gonna do is because we want to find the locations of the uh the everything so we're going to start with the eye socket now the next thing i don't want to do is um i want to do the nose okay so from the reference photo that you know the nose right here is almost like one third of the of your face right here so that means the bottom of your nose is on the bottom of the line right here okay so now i'm going to make a little nose again We'll put it on there and then we will try it out. If it doesn't work, we start over it again. So we're gonna start with a little bit of an oval, um, 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 almost like a teardrop shape right in here. So you can see a little shape like that, okay? So I'm gonna add it in there. Like, Man, that is way too long. So that means I have too much clay. So again, I'm gonna start with a fresh one. Okay, so again, looks like a screw clip. So it's a little taper. I'm gonna add it right here, still a little bit. Add it right here. That looks okay. Looks okay. So I'm going to put it down. Okay. So here you go. Now that's my nose right in here. I'm gonna add it in just a little bit. Once I add it in, I'm going to create a little bit of nostril on this side, a nostril on this side, okay? And uh, once I've done that, I'm going to take my sculpting tool. If I can find them. Okay, oh, yeah, um, okay. I'm going to do a little sculpting tool. So if you look at the nose plan, there's actually one plan. Okay. Two on this side. Oops, nostril. And three on this side, right here. Okay. And then I'm going to use the sculpting gonna add a little bit of nostril right here okay and then maybe I'll add a, a ball of a nose on the bottom right here maybe it'll be too much maybe it'll be too little but again my line still stay on the on the um, edge right here so that's gonna be somewhat my nostril I'm not sure how big maybe it's a little too big but it's okay we're gonna go back and to fix it over there so here's would be the nose again Okay, so but once we start putting it on there, now we have to start thinking about what happened when the side, 
you know, the side profile, how far, how what's the relationship between the side, okay? So then that means I'm gonna do the measurements, okay? I'm gonna look at look at the measurement that I have, if you look and look at right here, what kind of empty space that you wanna have right here. So if you look at this right here, maybe these need to go in a little bit. So I'm gonna go in slightly, okay? So that would be the first one, again, roughly. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna create a little bit of a nostril right in here. Remember, these are all bare bone. That means we're gonna add the muscle on there right now. So first we just add the nose. Now I'm gonna go back to add a little bit of uh, um, everything, everything basically. So my nose is a little round, not like pointy, so I'm gonna add it right here. So that's the side profile right here, okay? Now I'm gonna add the lips. Again, remember, this is still the rough sketch right now. It's like we're doing the sketch. We have a little rough sketch, so we're gonna start with a rough sketch. And then we can always go back to fine tune it, okay? Now, if you look at the lips, okay? The edge of the lips, almost like a right in the middle of your eye pupil right there. Can you see it? Right there. So it's a, a little bit outside of your nose, right in here. So look at your reference photo, okay? Um, so right now, so again, if I have a lips, if I'm, if I'm gonna put the lips, so in here, if I put a lip like this one right here, but if I look at my reference photo, the edge of my lips is actually wider than my nose, okay? So that means this clay probably not good enough. We need it a little bigger. So again, I'm gonna do this right in here. So again, the lips, you got the bottom portions, you got a, bottom portion of it and they also have a top portion of it so again we need to look for that empty space and look for that negative space so what I would do is I'm gonna roll a little oval shape so you can see it, the oval you know a little almost like almonds so I'm gonna put it right here like a mustache right here so if you look at the side profile I should come out a little bit not flat okay I'm gonna round it off just a little bit and it's outside of the my nose too. So that means the end of this line, if I go in later, come in with the eyes right here, your pupil should be right here somewhere. Yeah? Okay. So again, this clay is getting a little dry. Make sure that you um, actually um, cover them well or wet them too as well. So I was going to look at this uh, uh, lips right here, the profile. I don't have a very distinct but I'm gonna still pushing it down right here, just slightly, okay? So right now I'm gonna round these edges right here. So I'm gonna round them off, because this is gonna be my lips. So I'm gonna do it this way too, kind of cut in an angle right here. So can you see, I'm, look, I'm doing my upper lips right now, okay? So again, look at side profile right here. Is it a little bit too big, too small, or looking at it, okay? So the edges right here, you can always go back to carve it right now, but we, we wanna look for the lips right now, okay? So the bottom, I'm gonna do the same thing, okay? So this time, I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, still a little oval shape right here, okay? Right here. Yeah, this time, I'm gonna wedge it underneath it right here. So if I'm looking at right here, this look feels a little too dry because I'm sculpting it outside. So I'm gonna do it right here. So you can see right here, this is the lips. I'm gonna wedge it down there, okay? Now this lips looks a little too big. I'll show you. Too much clay. So I'm gonna go back and get a little small amount of clay this time. How do I know it's a small and big? It's just an experience, so you just have to rip off a few more times of your lips and your nose, and your sculpting lips. So you can see right now, can you see it? Now I'm gonna wedge it in there, and that's gonna be my bottom lip, okay? Now this part, what we will do is, I will actually push this clay, I've been using the tool that I have, and I wedge it in there to create, create the edge of the lips right there. And I'm gonna push the clay down just a little bit on both sides. So here's the lips. Maybe a little too wide. You know, let me look at it. Looks like that lip comes out just a little bit too much. 
maybe because uh, um, you can see the lip actually top and the bottom looks like the bottom lips are much bigger than the top so that means I have too much clay we'll take it out again one more time okay so again I'm gonna wedge back in there much better much better okay there we go so again we'll take the tool it goes in because the lip, the plant of a lip is wrapped around the skull and skull is round. Therefore, you need to round them all just a little bit. And come down right here, the edge of the lip. Okay. So maybe, maybe, I still don't quite like it. I think my, my top lips may be a little too uh, funky and just because it looks a little thick and then you can see this Lip is going sideways instead of coming down almost like a joker. No, we don't want that. We want to come down just a little bit and then go in. I mean, I don't want that because my lip wasn't don't look like that. And if somebody looked like that, then you go ahead and sculpt it like that. Okay, so I'm going to come down just a little bit. But I can fix it. Okay, if I can't, I can always thin it out just a little bit. But I don't quite like this. So it's just like, ugh, let's do it again. One more time. Take this. I need two lump of clay. Two, 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 two. Okay. So one is is a little too much. So one is the upper lips, just a little wider, right? I'm gonna push it right here. And using using um using um the clay right here, I'm gonna push it down around the edges, create the lips, upper lips. And then same as this side right here, I'm gonna create the little, so it's actually round, not flat, okay? A lot of times students do it like a flat. So here you go. So here's the upper lips. I'm gonna take the bottom one. And we're gonna wedge down here, too big, too big. wedge down there. Mm -hmm. There you go. That looks okay. I'm going to use my tool and the same thing right here using the tool to create the shape of lip. Right? Okay. Now if you look at the side right here um, my actually has a little chin on the bottom and the this one looks not too uh, obvious so I'm gonna add a little ball of a ball of a clay right here to create that okay. sometimes your reference photo can really help you with some of the detail so what we, what you can do is bring a mirror and I always can look at it okay so again here you go we can always go back to fix it just a little bit more but now I'm looking at the um, the lips right here it's actually kind of joined again this is the time that you should bring out your mirror to look at it so I'm saying this one kind of had to go in just a slightly we'll go in just a little bit okay and then we'll add this because that's where two lip meets right there what they look like you know pay attention to it again the edge of the your uh, the edge of your um, the edge of your lips right here is on the right end about right here okay so here's the lips it looks still a little funky I might want to take it out again one more time you know what let's do it one more time third time charms right so here we go take this wedge it in here so I'm using my hand using my right here I'm gonna bring the lips down
in again find that join line right there the edge of the lips coming down same as here go in come down okay add a little bit of clay on the chin right here and bring them out can always go back to it okay so far that's the lips go back to fix it just a little bit more again roughly we're gonna we want to make sure we move uh, clay around so now you notice that that we're gonna the next thing I want to do is I'm gonna find define this menu bone right in here so this bone right here okay right here so what I would do is I'm gonna add a little bit of clay Remember, if you add on both sides, hmm, this lip is went in just a little bit more. I might have to redo it again. Okay, that's okay. All right, so now I'm going to go back to add a little bit of eye socket. So what I would take, anytime you want to do the eye socket, and try to do it like a boat, you know, like. So what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to add a little bit of a socket bone. And of course, once you need to add on both sides, don't just do one side, okay? If you do it one side, later you're gonna have a problem. So here's the um, mammy bone. Okay. I mean, the um, not mammy bone. This is your um, the uh, cheek. Okay. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of the. Um, Connected bone right here. We're gonna add a little bit right here. Bring this bone out. Same thing as this side. And bring this bone out just a little bit right here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to look at the cheek, the chin. Looks like a little thin right here. So I'm gonna add a little chin. Jar. Oh my gosh. Jar. Sorry. I sculpted that kind of what I'm talking about okay so I'm adding a little jar and again I'm gonna come back right here add a little jar right here jar 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 okay. Okay. so slowly Things coming alive a little bit, right? So again. Now this um the uh that your the right here your your um the chin chin not chin the cheek right here looks a little thin right here, so I'm gonna add just a little bit. If you the reason I seen that is because if you can see I got this little bag of a muscle right there. So that means if I look at the side profile, I'm gonna add a little bit more in right here. So same thing as this side, a little triangle. I'm going to look at the side to see, make sure that my jaw right here is matching. So I'm going to constantly look around to see what's going on with the nose, what's going on with the eyes. Looks a little too... Okay, let me see. I look, I feel like I have a little more like a sharper chin. So I'm going to add just a little bit more right here. Now I'm looking at this right in here and I see right now it looks like the angle of my, if you look at the angle, if you look at the angle of my nose right here, it looks like the, the nose should be kind of go down just a little bit more, right? Okay. Okay. So here's the lips. Wow, I sure don't like my upper lips. I'm gonna do it really quickly again, one more time.
doing a lot today. That's okay. Sometimes you just don't have a lock. Okay, again, around, right in here, wedge it in, and make sure it's right in the middle. Here with the lips. And it depends on the size of your lid. You can go a little smaller, you can go a little bigger. I'm looking at mine. It's quite thin, so I'm gonna go down. Okay, once I got that defined, if you look at this lips, it's a little too sharp on the edges right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of clay to catch up that sharpness because I don't have that. I'm going to add a little bit of the chin and bring them over. I'm going to use my It looks like the lips right here. Maybe I add a little bit, a tip of muscle right here to create a little bit of the ed, the um, pointy lips. Like that. And this will go in. And the edges make sure they go in okay so let's look at the side profile looks could be a little bit more of his nose So right now is the lips. Okay, and then we add a little bit of this. We're gonna come back with the cheek. And then the edge right here is gonna be your ear, right here. On the bottom, the um the bottom of your earlobe is gonna be the edge of your chin. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more. The reason is because I can see very clearly right here there's a shadow so I'm going to do just a little bit more. Okay. Alright, so feels a little dry but um, I'll try to cover them if you can, okay? Alright, so now what I would do is I'm going to make the, um, the
the eye. So this first we're gonna do the one eye. Of course, again, this can keep them wet and then we can always go back to fix it, okay? So this time before I start the eyes, right in there, okay? I wanna put some, my brow bone right here because right now there's no, if I put an eye right here, there's no brow bone. So what I would do is add a little bit of oval shape and this is gonna be acting as my brow bone. So I'm gonna add that there. Again, looking at the brow bone right here. Now I'm gonna add the eyes. Okay, so we wanna add the eyes. Again, the both sides are the same, so make sure that you always have your eyes. You know, when you're doing your clay, make sure they are the same size. Okay, so you do two, two are the same size. Don't want to have a bigger than the other. Okay, and then once you start with the eyes, you're gonna put that eye into almost like an almond shape. Maybe this one's a bit too small, I'll just a little smaller. Okay. Again, so round them first and then make it into an oval shape. Okay, like that. We're gonna wedge it in right there. Now it looks like the eye poking out, right? The eyeball poking out, so that means maybe I add a bit too much Let's uh, shrink down a little bit of an eyeball. Smaller. Okay, you don't want you want your eye to set in, not floating out. So I'm going to do this, round them all first in the circle, and then slightly a little oval shape. I'm going to add where that's much better, much better. So we can see now the eye just go in just a little bit more, so a little smaller. Okay. Do it this one right here, doing the same way. I'm gonna push it in just right there. So I'm adding the brow bone, so this is gonna be my brow. Can you see? And now I'm gonna go ahead and use my tools that I showed you earlier. So I'm gonna push it in. I'm gonna add this one in, indent it, and create the oval shape. And I'm gonna round the edges. And then bring the eyelid down. And then bring the eyelid up. The where they join is the teardrop shade join is overlapping. So the bottom overlap the top. I mean the top overlap the bottom. You can see right here. And the edge of your eye too is the same way. Right in here. This is tucked underneath the top. I'm gonna go back in right there. Here you go. See? As you make your eyes. And I'm doing the same thing. Practice again. On both sides. One, two, right? And I'm gonna bring the eyelid down where they join. The bottom is over tucking underneath. Same as this one right here. This is top under. Go back in. And if you feel like you know what this doesn't look quite right on the both side, we'll take it off and do it again. Okay. Just like my lips, I do like a three times deal. I don't feel like it. And then I'm gonna go back, make sure the sides are the same. Okay. So the idea of the eye differences is in between your teardrop eye shape right here is one, one, one. So basically, the size of your eye from end to end is the distance between your eyes, two eyes, right there. Okay, so if you measure this right here, looks like this one's a bit too close. So I'm going to close my eyelid just a little bit and bring them in. 
so I kind of shorten the distance just a little bit and then bring them down okay so we're gonna go back to scope a little bit and then if you look at uh, my eye right here I, I'm you know Asian I'm, I'm this little little flat right here is not a lot of um, a lot of um, defined area so uh, what I would do is just kind of add back in just a little bit more just like that side and I'm gonna go back just sculpt it a little bit more okay so here's the eyes that you want to look at it okay now if you notice the eye is a bit too small you can always stretch, stretch it a little bigger Sure the eyelid is wrapping your eyeball okay here you go and your brow bone come in here so again my look at my brow bone here's my brow bone right here okay so here's my eye I don't have very obvious um, this balls right here so I'm gonna bring it like that okay so here's the eyes and then we're gonna go back if you if you can see it right here this will be your eyebrow right there okay all right so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna fix it a little bit more and I'm gonna check out the relationship between my nose right here I'm gonna go back to look at it okay because everything is in a flux right now so I can always go back to fix it a little bit so it looks like my jaw maybe I add a little bit too much I go back to fix it again okay now um so we're gonna do on the other side too but uh, right now I want what I want to do is before I do the other sides I actually want to show you how to do um, the ear okay so that will be somewhat conclude with the, uh, the oh no then I will do the head okay so the ear uh, 45 minutes okay so right now this is 50 minutes the ear you basically want to take a little bit of the clay you want to flatten up now it looks like a little surface right there and it's the same shape of your hands right in here so you're gonna put it right there okay maybe a little too big as you can see right here we'll do it on the next next video so again, you know what? I'm gonna put it on right now. So it actually works a little bit more. We'll do it on the next video.